Trip for a Healthier America held its national summit in Washington this week. First Lady Michelle Obama gave the keynote address calling for better marketing of healthy foods. I spoke with the group's vice chair, Newark, New Jersey Mayor Cory Booker, about the childhood obesity epidemic. But first, I asked him if President Obama's dinner with Senate Republicans this week was too little too late. Dinner and, and breaking bread is always a good thing, uh, but I know uh, very specifically the president has been reaching out from day one. Uh, he's had uh, coverage that has been given to meetings he's had with people in the GOP, with getting into real discussions back in the health care debate. Uh, this president has gone a long way, and he's just uh, indefatigable. He's not going to stop. He's going to continue to find creative ways to reach across the aisle. And I'm happy to see this having some uh, success after a mandate given. Uh, by the American people uh, that uh, really supported the president's vision. It's nice to see people in the GOP expressing a desire to get things done, and it's the spirit of Washington that we really need right now. There was a lot of fear drummed up before the sequester. Has it affected Newark yet? How do you expect it to affect you? Well, look, you know, it, it's, it's affecting us, and it may not be dramatic right now, but when I talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office, who's one of my partners in fighting crime, and see him having to deliver furlough notices to his employees, uh, that's going to weaken our ability uh, to create those partnerships that ultimately create safety in my community. So there will be an impact. There will be an effect. And everybody agreed, from the right to the left, the even independent economists, that this is a bad way to go about budget cutting. It is blunt, brutal, and blind. And not not the way you would have done it um, if people had come together in an intelligent fashion uh, to figure out the best way to reduce government. Let's talk about this initiative that you're working on for childhood obesity, obesity rather, Partnership for a Healthier America. Just how bad is this problem? Um, it's no longer a problem. It's an epidemic. It is eating away at the core of our country and our destiny, our future, because it's undermining our kids' uh, uh, lives in dramatic fashion. Childhood obesity has increased uh, about threefold since uh, in the last 30 years amongst our children, stealing uh, uh, their lives away. Really, tens of billions of dollars we're spending now on juvenile health care costs that we don't have to spend if we didn't have this problem. But more than that, obesity leads to lower performance in school, lower or long-term productivity, and in a world, in a global knowledge-based economy, uh, where how much you earn is based upon how much you learn, uh, this has portents of some very damaging things for individual lives and for GDP growth in the future, especially right now. Uh, economists are saying that this is impacting our economy in terms of trillions of dollars. Mm. We have the New York City Mayor, Michael Bloomberg. I mean, he's got the large soda ban that goes to effect next week. Do you think that's the right tactic to save people from themselves? Well, look, I am a Bloomberg fan. Here's a guy that's pulled the mayors around America together to deal with gun violence, to deal with infrastructure problems, to deal with global warming. He is, uh, when it comes to mayor, he is the chief provocateur in this country who's saying, I'm not going to stand idly by. Uh, and watch my uh, the health of my kids deteriorate rapidly. I'm going to do something about it. He's doing something. The question to mayors uh, around the country is, what are we going to do? Now, I'm not taking on the same tactics he's taking, but I see the same urgency. Mm -hmm. uh, and so let's stop uh, uh, com criticizing people for stepping out. We may disagree with his tactics, but the first question we should ask ourselves is, hey, he's trying to solve a problem. What is my alternative? What am I offering? And it's not enough to say, hey, we should just uh, have our parents make better choices. Well, when a parent lives in a food desert and doesn't have access uh, to healthy options and only has bodegas with sugary snacks, salty foods, and soda and sugar water, hey, we have a responsibility as a community to, to end these food deserts. When we say, hey, kids should work out more and play more, well, if they don't have safe playgrounds and recreational spaces, we as a community have to do something. So God bless Mayor Bloomberg. It's not what I would do, uh, but at least he's forcing the issue and the question and more of us are talking about it because as I see it, what do we need? to be drinking these gallon drums in the yeah. movie theater of sugary drinks. These are the kind of things and habits that we've gotten into that our grandparents, they didn't mm -hmm. do these kind of things. We've lost lots of our food culture in our country, and it's time for somebody to declare a food fight and say, hey, we're going to fight for yeah. more healthy access to foods. We're going to fight for more urban gardens. We're going to fight uh, to empower parents to make good decisions. Well, if that interview is any indication, it appears childhood obesity could be a big platform for Mayor Booker's likely Senate run in 2014. He says he won't announce his campaign, though, until after the upcoming New Jersey governor's election.